token, and this could be any token on the networks we support. Uh, I think there's a token called DMT. Yeah, so I've seen a lot of people talk about this, for example. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. So as office hours is a little bit late, we're normally half an hour an episode. But I've been seeing people talk about DMT. And um, when I first saw people talk about DMT versus the price now, I would have been a much happier man. <laughs> but here we are. So we can see that in between the 9th of May and the 12th of May, the price was around $50. It's now up 3x. This could be very, very interesting to see who bought at this point. As the fully diluted valuation is much lower, we might see buyers of smaller size. So let's just check that out. So the dates we're looking into again, sorry, are the 9th to the 12th. So let's just quickly do that. Again, we go to the calendar and set the cost and date range. And we press save and let's see who bought. And we see a few addresses here, one high balance. So I'm going to command click into this one here. And I'm really interested in seeing this address here because they're a smart dex trader on Ethereum. So let's see what they were doing. And I also quite like this ENS GBT4. <laughs> so let's see what they're doing. And so the really cool thing here, again, if you want to see what they're holding across all different chains, go to all chains here. It is multi chain by default. And this address is very interesting because we see they have $174,000 in the entire portfolio. And for Arbitrum, what we saw and by DMT, they're up, they have up nearly 100,000. We can see their trade highlights. Again, all new features in Nansen will be multi-chain by default. And we're currently in the process of making all the other features multi-chain, so smart alerts, signals, et cetera. Multi-chain is the theme of the year. And I'm really excited to show you guys all these features when they go multi-chain. And we want to look into DMT. So we right-click wallet profile of the token. Let's see what they were doing. So they actively are trading the token. We can see they're buying and they sold at the lows again. But they're buying and buying and buying and they sold at highs and they start to sell again. So it's an interesting address to see, to say the least. And we go to the PNL, for example. We can see they have a very high win rate and they've made 183% trading this token. This all realized here, for example. But if we go to the unrealized side of things, and that's where we can see the unrealized gains of DMT. So if you held this token and you want to set up an alert for this address, you would do so to see when they were to add or maybe sell this position. And then from there, you can use that to reflect on the wider market, check in the data, see what's going on, and from there, decide on how to take action. So that's interesting and just kind of curious because of the growth of this address. And we go to all chains, again, to highlight the multi-chain aspect of this to see where they are and their biggest again biggest gain is through dmt in terms of realized gains and in unrealized gains we can see that dmt is also up there so it is clear that this address is focused much more on the arbitrary ecosystem and so when you see addresses like this for example which is slightly different and we can see the highly volatile nature it's probably due to the fact that the address is running an automated strategy and if we look at the top tokens a lot of stable coins with a few other little things here and there and it's not something that we would consider to be high alpha. And if we look at their win rate, it's not that high. Their realized PL isn't that high either. And the activity isn't something that would catch our attention. So while they may run a strategy, it's something that not the everyday person can follow. And then let's look into this address here. So we know they're a smart dex trader on Ethereum. And then when we go to the all, <laughs> all chain support, we can see their portfolio is massive. And uh, we can see they've got a good win rate. It's 58%, more than every other trade is doing well. And let's have a look into their PL here. So I'll wait for this to load. They've made 12,000 trades, so it might take a little bit longer to load up here. And we can see that they've made a few profitable trades here. But let's have a look on the unrealized gains. And so what I really like about this PNL feature that's coming very, very soon is that it does show the unrealized side of things. So we have a look here. We're trying to find DMT. We can't see it at the moment. So what I'll do instead actually is I'll go to the overview tab here. And I'll go to Arbitrum as that's the chain that we're interested in specifically for this token and see if they held anything here. They've likely sold it in this case. And because you can't see in the realized gains, they probably haven't made much money off it. And then the other addresses that we look into, there is nothing that 
substantial. So it's just one of those ways I just wanted to show you just how you can use our workflow and cover it across different addresses, uh, to different network, sorry, and how you can get a lot of alpha very quickly. So we've gone through three different tokens, discovered interesting addresses, many, many whales. We've set up uh, custom labels for more than three addresses. Those addresses, if we wanted to, we could set up smart alerts for and then see what's going on in real time and then see what they're doing on chain and then from there use that information to our advantage. So that's really the really cool thing about this. And I think the time to alpha with Nansen is only getting faster and faster and faster. And the more that we can do in improving that and explaining how you can do, discover alpha and how you can take action is only something we can improve on and make your lives easier. And yeah, so that's episode 114 of Office Hours using this workflow of who bought, who sold, the custom timeframe and leveraging our new PL feature to decide how actionable an address